we're back and we're slabbing everything. So see what's coming up next. Ooh. Welcome back gainers to another incredible, exciting, fantastic episode of Comic Gate! If you're new to the show, I'm Adam. I'm Zach, and this is the Princess Aurora Highest. Looking very lovely today, just like usual, doing that princess wave, so you do it too. Bada, respect, and of course, there's a mascot, Coco Dog. Oh, she's all ready for her journey. We're going on a journey later. Never end. All right, guys, so today is Saturday, and uh, we have another uh, unboxing for you, but it's a CBCS. Uh, we, so we got sent in a lot to CBCS a very long time ago, so this is... Ever. This is going to be an interesting one. We have a little story to go along with it. So before we dive into any story, we need to dive into a drink. We got to start right, guys. Yeah. This is a right energy drink. It's 100% plant-based because it's what plants need to be, energy. So let's try this out. Sometimes I've never... plants can start a riot. Yeah. They need Brondo, too. Uh, I've never had a really good plant-based energy drink. Maybe maybe I did now. It'll smell like a riot. Mango? Oh. It's mango. Oh. Mango? Is it not good? No, it tastes like fermented mango. Does it make you want to start a riot? Yeah, uh, yeah, bad kind of riot. Find their factory, Ooh. burn it down. All right. You guys can also come hang out with us on what? what? Uh, on Saturdays at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and you can help us start a riot. You're never disappointed, unlike that drink. Never disappointed, always getting those gains all the time. See you there. 30 second auction. 30 second auction is dollar starts. Dollar starts. And stay tuned for the Princess Show at 6 p.m., which is epic Just and amazing. Or better. Mm. All right, guys. So, back to the CBCS story. So, we got 10 books coming back from CBCS, and we're going to reveal the grades to you. So, um, a while back, uh, the Comic Tom Mystery Mail Call Box gave out the golden tickets. And I think this is the second one that we've done where if you sent in four books, you got your fifth book for free. Um, super good deal. Uh, fantastic. And at this point in our uh, career in slabbing comic books, uh, which is encapsulating them in plastic with grades on them, um, we had done a bunch through CGC and we were sending them in through CCS to get uh, pressed and cleaned through them. And it was taking like a million years. Like mm. it was over a year every time we sent in something. And uh, this is before we were pressing and cleaning our own stuff. And so we had this opportunity to send some stuff into. Uh, CBCS and up until this point we've only sent things in that were um, uh, that were a uh, signature series so this is the first time we've ever sent anything in that wasn't signature series and we were like we want to get these back like pronto like super super quick so we're not going to get any of them pressed any of them clean we're just going to send them as is to CBCS and hope for the best which we will tell you we haven't seen these grades but we, I can tell you now it's probably not a good idea no, to, to ever do that idea. but to make it even worse, CBCS totally dropped the ball, and it's been over a year, almost a year and a half, since we even got these books back, and we didn't even get them pressed. We didn't even get them pressed and clean; just straight sent it to them, and they waited a year and a half to send it back, which is kind of uh, ridiculous. Probably going to be the last time we ever send anything to CBCS for a while. Yeah, for a while. I like their slabs a lot, but if this is how they run their business and they don't send it back, uh, it takes them that long. And now we're getting CGC stuff back within three weeks. There's no reason to ever send anything to CBCS again. Unless you're getting signature uh, verification. Signature verification. This is it's kind of ridiculous. But let's find out what we... Uh, I, at this point, I don't even remember what we sent in. It's been so long or like uh, oh, no, what any of the my, possible yours, grades were on any of these. I can tell you ours, if we sent it in, we thought they were 9 eighths, Unless there's a couple that um, were like foil covers that we we weren't going to get pressed because it's too dangerous Just to get can't. foil covers pressed anyways unless you cold press them press, so yeah. we sent a few in like that but without further ado let's see what we got back from cbcs mm -hmm. we're doing this a little different so princess is the only one that looked at the grades ahead of time uh zach and i have no idea what the grades are and we did some little extra this time princess uh taped them up so she could show you the books a little early and just a little bit different so first up ooh. Hero we got Gasm. Hero Gasm number one, oh. uh, first appearance of Soldier Boy. Uh, this book was super hot a year and a half ago when we sent it in. Was one of the reasons I think it's one of the reasons we wanted to send this in and actually like uh, flip this before the season came out. It's already came and gone and done with, <laughs> and now we're finally getting the book back. Um, I thought this actually looked like a nine eight nine eight. That's Hard to say. I remember that's the reason. Because we have a couple copies of this. I don't think we would have sent this in if we didn't think it was a 9-8. Uh, 
Slab looks nice, though. I can tell you, I like CBCS slabs. They're super hardy. I don't know. What do you think, Zach? Well, it looks clean. It's mostly a white cover. So, dirtiness is probably going to be the number one thing that would oh, yeah, knock the grade tick there. down. Yeah. But, I don't think they get enough of this book. They probably got plenty, but I don't think they got enough of this book to really, little, tiny really tick. hit it hard. So... It'd probably be safe to say it's a nine six or nine eight. They even put they even put first print to Soldier Boy on there. How dare they? You're sweating. Uh, right? Let's see that classic Hero Gasm cover. It's kind of the offshoot of the boys. If you guys aren't familiar with it, and uh, Jensen Ooh, Eccles played yeah. Soldier Boy in season three, which was like a huge deal when it happened. It turned out to be really good. Really good. Um, the book's just way cooled down by now. So, but fantastic. It'd be cool if we got a nine eight. Be cool. There's a um, a virgin cover in this book that looks really cool. Oh, yeah. I think Let's see the reveal. Did that cover the top? The, the top great. Oh, Princess was all about. She's got it down. Got the tape reveal. I believe. Let's see. I believe CGC says it in the middle on the top. So yeah. Sometimes um, I feel like I figure out how Princess does the books, and then she throws a monkey wrench in. Last time, totally threw me off. We got all the good grades first. Oh. Uh huh. I think it's 10 nine. books this time, guys. Nine. All modern. All modern. 10 modern books. Hero Gasm, First Soldier Boy. The goal is 9 8. Should, hopefully. 9 6? 9 6. <laughs> from what I could tell. Yeah, 9 6. This probably oh. would have benefited from a press. So, like I said, we, uh, we're trying to go for speed on this. And, and it, it cost us. We, yeah, we didn't get the speed and we didn't get the accuracy, but. Hero Gasm 9 6. Still a cool book, though. Like, I have a couple copies of this book because I think it's, it's cool. And the boys have more seasons to come. And um, they didn't really officially, like, kill Soldier Boy. Oh, oh next up we got. What is that? Oh. Ooh. Oh, okay. Justice League 50. We got Justice League 50. Um, this is uh, first. It's like Cameo Jessica Cruz. They even put it on there. Oh, they put it on that one. First full. First uh, full appearance of Jessica as, Cruz, as a Green Lantern. So she has a couple of good appearances. There's her first appearance, uh, not powered up, and then they got her first appearance uh, powered up. Oh, uh, so this is this, one, this is also one that was really hot with the anticipation of the Green Lantern show coming out on HBO, which has since been canceled and redone, which I don't think they're going to showcase Jessica Cruz, at least in the beginning like they're originally planning. So this yeah. is kind of another... Uh, Dead spec. Not like dead, dead spec, but it was pretty hot for a while. But Justice League 50, this one I thought looked really nice. It's a thicker book, though. It's a thicker book. Oh, a little bit. A little bit of a, a corner on that one. Not super, super sharp, but I thought this one looked nice. I don't think we would have sent it if it didn't look. What is that? That's nothing. Well, that's on the case. <gasps> thick book, though. Thick, thick book. I think that is a printing error. What is it? The little corner. Oh, up there? Yeah. And then we'll find I, out. We're about to like find a, out. This is a like hard a book, I think, hole. to get a 9-8 in because it's so thick. It's really thick. Thick. Real thick. I like Jessica Cruz is one of the better characters, newer characters to come out of DC. I like thick books. And I can't Oh, lie. nice background there. We have a lot of thick books. I'm glad they put her, her information on this one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's nice, at least. Oh. Thank you, CBCS. Oh, yeah. We... <laughs> <laughs> oh, the big reveal! It's, Ooh, I I, want, I would want this to be a nine eight. Yeah, that's kind of really want it to be a nine eight. Nine six. six. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, no! Want well, that one to be a nine eight? Dang, that would have been cool. Dang. So yeah, the lesson learned, guys. Is that press your books. This is yeah. this is how long ago we sent these in before we ever pressed our first book to be submitted. So um, you leave, you just leave too much on the table. You don't know what they're grading you down on, like waviness. So always press your stuff before you send it in. Yeah, I mean a nine six and nine eight used to only be half the value. Now it's even less. Than it's like that, a I third, a third of the value. A third. Ooh, okay. They even wrote the information on that one. That's interesting. So you got Daredevil 25. This is a new book. That's 2022, right? Yeah. 2021? 2022 or 2021. Yeah. That's the Chip Zdarsky one. But this is a 
This was super hot when it came out. That's when so when Elektra right became uh, Daredevil. So hot. Exactly. That's how Zach Thomas. That's so hot right now. <laughs> but yeah. uh, it cooled off a lot. Um, I don't think anyone's as excited about her being Daredevil as much as they were. But it was. It's a good cover. She pulls off the costume so well. Yeah, she does. She does. Yeah. Fabulous. But um, I think we got this one right off the shelf. Like, just bought it right off the shelf and thought that it looked clean and sent it in. So, I don't believe any of us read this copy. That's a 9-8. Should be. Should be a 9-8. It's a 9-8. Should be. It's a 9-8. That's, that's how books come now. You guys notice, you guys feel like books are coming like off the shelf, kind of like slightly damaged compared to what they Sometimes. used to be. I guess most of the new books I get all have color rubs on them. Um, and then also just like when you're bagging and boarding them, they they tend to get color rubs easier. I think so anyways. I would think. 9-8. Hoping for 9. This is going to be a whole whole submission of 9-6s. We're literally slabbing everything around here, guys. Everything's going into plastic. 9? What the hell? Oh, you made like a mini one. Uh -huh. Oh, she's messing with us. At least we know it's a 9. Is it 9-6? What? <laughs> no wonder they took so long to get these bags. They made them all nine sixes. A nine six. <laughs> For how long they took, they should have just gave us a nine eight. That's oh, two thousand one. There you go. Know. Or twenty twenty one. Oh, uh, now yeah, twenty twenty one. Oh, twenty. A nine six? Are you kidding me right now? It's freaking uh, ridiculous. It's like, what order are you gonna put these in? All the all nine six order. That's a brand new book, too. That's a 9-8 all day. Only thing They've that, been grading harsh, too, lately. Dude, that's not even... That, they, they, they got you on this one. Mm -hmm. That's what they did. But that's, that's doesn't, that shouldn't even count. Alright, okay. We got um, Edge of Spider-Verse number two. This is the uh, third printing design variant. First appearance of Gwen's of uh, Spider Gwen. So this is pretty cool. I wish these were like the other printings were more yeah. expensive. It's really only the first print that has like a lot of value, but um, it's still a cool book. Um, this book looked nice. Looked really nice. Oh, the scuffs all up on the yeah. The so their quality too. control is not. Yeah, very I don't think I'll be sending anything else to CBCS after this fiasco. Well, if it's a nine eight, then. Uh... Might be forgiven. It'd be bit. cool. It's a cool book, though. Yeah. I, I feel like they should get some more love on these other printings. Kind of strange. Yeah, they, they they take a little while to get into people's love, get in their interest. The Seum one is fantastic in its first print. Not a huge fan of the design covers as much, though. Like they're cool, but they're not. I don't think they're that cool. Well, what I mean is the Seum one was not as nearly expensive as the first print, and then it's slowly. Raised up in price for the Spider Gwen. Yeah, for the oh. Spider Gwen. Mm -hmm. It's pretty. The big print. reveal. This one again, like guys, didn't press. Probably should have pressed this one because it looked really nice. It looked really nice. nice. Oh, she almost pulled off the other nine side. Nine four better. You think nine four in this one? It's probably gonna be a nine six. The so, Kufa was a nine Someone's out to get us. Someone's out to get At us. At CBCS, they're like, "Hey, we're gonna hold their books for a whole year." Florida. Nine eight. Nine oh, eight. Oh, okay. We got one. Oh, <laughs> yay! yay! Oh, redemption. We're gonna have to put the thumbnail to all nine six show. Yes, we got that in a mystery box from a uh, good friend Thoro. So thank oh. you, Thoro, for keeping your books nice. He keeps yeah. it Thoro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cool. That was good. All right, my spirits are a little bit lifted. I keep it Thoro. Cool. All right. Oh, first appearance of Earth 65, Matt Murdock. Did you know that, Adam? No. Well, he dies in the Ultimate Universe, but she's from the other. Spoiler. Oh, yeah, that's the rare. Oh, okay, let's act talk. You know about that. I don't know anything so about So this is uh, Witchblade 170. It homages at Uncanny X-Men, I think, 270. Ooh. Some, some issue like that, and it's in the 200-somethings. And, oh, I didn't even know it was a sketch back cover. I should have got a sketch. Ah, uh, you were, Man. Zach finally got a book slide that was a sketch cover. You break your own rule. <laughs> At least it has a real back cover. I know, I'm just messing. Maybe I'll crack it, depending on the grade. Oh, it's an incentive variant, too. They actually put it, I don't know if the CGC puts incentive, retail incentives on theirs. Because that means it's a ratio, right? 
I think in certain cases they do. They do? Okay. But sometimes they don't. Who did they, the uh, cover on this? Silvestri. Ooh. Mark Silvestri. And at this point, in the later issues of Witchblade, they did a lot of really cool homages, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're really... Oh, it actually says Uncanny X-Men 251. Oh, 251. Oops. But... What do you think, Zach? 9-8? 9-8. 9-8? 9-8? I don't know. Prince has put it in this order. Oh, yeah. See, there's a sketch sketch uh, um, cover on the back. And it's actually one of those, like, looks like a um, inside. Yeah, yeah. Inside panel. Yeah, inside panel. It's pretty dope. It's really rare. Extremely rare witch blade. Rip off the band-aid. What's it gonna be? Oh. 9-6? <sighs> no. I didn't even see it's all white book. How did they even see anything wrong with it? I mean, that's not really true, but... Was there anything? Prince didn't even point anything out. I'm going to crack it open. <laughs> on it. I mean, might as well. It's a crap 9-6. I don't want that. It's a cool book, though. Really cool I'm book. Gonna, I'm going to crack it and see if I can get Mark to give me a sketch on it. That would be cool. My good friend Mark Silvestri. Known him for years. <laughs> <laughs> so far, guys, what do we have? Four nine Why sixes and one this? nine eight. Oh man, this is such the a... odds are not in our favor right now. It's gonna be that's why I said, you gotta you gotta press your book. Oh, here we go, Zach. Robin number one, first appearance. Oh, this also says oh first full appearance of Flatline, which is uh, what? Oh no, that's um, that's the girl from the Robin uh, yeah. storyline. Yeah, I really like the character. But she so much. she touches you. You have a heart attack. Yeah, she's a really cool character. Really that's really cool. Character. Character. And this is the one in twenty five, right? Isn't the Mm -hmm. The sketch cover, the one in 25. Yep. The one in 25. This is actually one of the ones I like. I didn't like that they did too many of them, though. What's this? Oh, it's something on the back there. Nightwing, Robin, Tim Drake, spoiler, orphan cameo. Oh, they ran out of room, so they put more stuff on the back. That's interesting. Jesus. That's interesting. She wears a loincloth. And it's a uh, it's Pirello, right? Pirello cover? No. no. Oh, Federici. Yeah, Federici. I like the. I like that. I like the Fettuccini. Federici. What? What? Good cover though. Flatline. Oh. Be careful to not have a flatline. It was a really good read. That. They go to like this Mortal Kombat island in the Robin storyline and uh whooped his butt. Yeah, it's like Damien was the, the main the Robin in the storyline. Mm-hmm. You get to die twice. Die twice. Right. Grade reveal time. Grade reveal time. First one? Ooh, she went all out on this one. This is like an A5. It'd be like... <sighs> this was brand new too, right? I never yeah. read it. No spine takes. Yeah. Came directly from the printer. D yeah, directly from the printer. 9-8. Okay. There you go. There we go. Well, hopefully it was in my collection for a while, so Woo. maybe got a little scuffed up. That's good. That's okay, good. Okay, at least I get one nine eight. I have noticed DC books look a little better than uh, Marvel books, right? Uh, like when you get them brand new, mm -hmm. like the DC ones. A lot of times they do that cardstock cover on the variant too, which helps, but yeah, that's which those are really hard to read. Like you can't, but you, yeah. it's really hard to read those without damaging them. Oh, oh, 375. I'm a little worried about this one, but 375. Um, this is uh, first appearance of Annie Wayne, who is uh, like the. Venom's wife. We got to see her in the Venom movie, which is kind of a big deal. Uh oh. And yeah, there's a little. This so uh, this is a foil one. If you guys didn't see the cover, it's a this one's a foil cover. So mm. can't really. I mean, I've heard people can cold press these sometimes, but we had a, we had this one. It's basically only worth any money if it's in a nine eight. But it's a cool book, anyways. Princess's face is making it seem like it's not a nine eight. They look like there might have been. It looked really clean, but now that I see that bottom corner. The rest of it, the spine looked good. The spine looked really, really nice. Did we have two of those in there? Two of the lethal protectors. Uh, two lethal protectors. Two, one 375. Mm. Which I, they're both cool. Both cool. I like got that gold background with the webbing in there. They did a bunch of the, um, those ones like that, the yeah, foil ones. Shiny. This was really hot when the, uh, the, Ven <laughs> the Venom movie was coming out. You got to see Annie like in both movies. Oh, little orphan. I don't, yeah, I don't know if she's an orphan. She could be, though. She should be. <laughs> she puts on the She-Venom costume. 
This only like no, no one even paid attention that this was their first appearance until the movie started coming out. I bet you bottom down. Wait. Let's let's do it. Let's do it. Did I get a nine eight? Nine six. Nine six. I I thought it was gonna get lower than that, so that's good. That's not bad. That's not bad. Kinda. That one can be okay. Kinda. Little corner. I didn't remember seeing that corner like that that we sent it in. They probably replaced it. Yeah, this one's going to no bunch of nobodies. They're not going to tell anybody that we do a crap job. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Three seventy five. Be on the lookout for that book in the newsstand. That was a pretty pretty good book in the newsstand. Mm. All right. What are we? What are we ending? Oh, oh. There's the boys, Zach. Boy, the boys. The boys. We're getting the spy schools back together. Alright, we got I forgot we had we have two copies of the boys. Um, yeah. This is the boys. Getting the spy schools back together. Alright, let's do the look at this one. I think this is the one we got in that set, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. We were like we were at a con and that guy had one through fourteen for like a hundred bucks. We got a nine six, so hopefully It'd be nice if we got a nine eight. First, so first appearance of Billy Butcher, uh Wee Hughes. A Train and Terror. Oh. Huh. Huh. I still need to read. I like the show a lot. I need to read this actual comic. It's pretty dirty, though. I think it's pretty accurate to the show. Mostly. Seems like it. Seems except, like it. Except Homelander. Like, I heard Homelander's actually better in the show than he is in yeah. the comic. Yeah. You know? No one so. dressed up as Homelander. Until yeah, we, the show. we got this in a 9-6. We did a um, hero gasm, so... <sighs> Yeah, hopefully we don't get another. We already, yeah, we had this in a nine six and a CGC, so so be cool if we got a nine eight or a nine nine. That would be cool. Or a ten. You know, you don't see too many uh, CBCS mm -hmm. nine nines or tens. No, no. Maybe just give them nine sixes instead. They're like, this one looks pretty perfect. Nine six. Oh, nine eight. Uh, yes. Yay! Go team, thank you. Dang, it's we're expensive in a nine. So far, we haven't got anything lower than a nine I six, so. but I feel like it's coming. I feel like I feel like there's um, there's at least one book in here that uh, that might not be a nine six. Might be lower. What? How many we got left? Two, two left. And they're both the same book. We got Lethal Protectors. Well, one's a new and the one's a nine. Number, they're both Lethal Protectors, number one, which is really cool. And like when the second movie was coming out, Lethal Protectors was a really, really popular book. And uh, this one's a rare newsstand. If you guys watched any of our earlier shows, uh, Princess got herself a 9.8, CGC 9.8, which is pretty special. This one looked, ooh, yeah, had a uh, nice corner smash down there. But we thought this one would be easier to sell if it was slabbed. Oh, yeah. Just a little bit of corn, a little bit of color rub on there, because sometimes I find lethal protectors they don't go for a lot raw, regardless. Even if they are like really nice, mm. so. And what do you think, Zach? There's a lot of damage on this one. Nine zero. Nine zero. I like it. I'm going nine two, but in that, in my opinion, if you're gonna resell a venom lethal protector, might as well be a new stand. It, well, you know, it's, if it's raw, sometimes, you know, they only go for like 20 bucks. But I feel like it's more like a $50 book. If yeah. you get a slab, you're more than likely going to get 50 bucks for it. Mm -hmm. If it's a decent grade. And a newsstand on this is hard to find. Hard That's to true. find at this time period. Oh, I think sure it's a fantastic that. cover. Flaws. You get this De De La Rosa cover. De Sam De La Rosa. Sam De La Rosa cover. I always thought for the longest time it was a McFarlane cover. I know a lot of people say that, that it's a McFarlane cover, it is not. I think he does the interiors, doesn't he? Maybe. I think he works on the somehow. There. Let's see. You're saying 9092? Mm-hmm. What is it? Is that 75? 75? Oh, yes. Wow. <laughs> they, they it was looking bad, though. There's some bad marks they on it. They hit that hard. They hit it hard with a sledgehammer. Sledgehammer? Yeah, that was a little more beat up than I thought. Cool book though. It's what? still a really cool book. In the newsstand, it's hard to find. Oh. Considering that was probably on a rack, you know, like at a um, Walmart or Barnes and Nobles. What was the other one? Walden Bookstore. Oh, oh. Yeah, that that was a big dinger. Mm -hmm. I think that's an appropriate here. grade. Appropriate grade yeah. for that book. Last one, guys. Last one. Interesting. Princess didn't... I don't think this one's going to be a 9-8, so interesting she didn't save a 9-8 for the last book. 
We got Lethal Protected number one, or not having deja vu. This is a non newsstand version. And uh, this was a, like a cool book. It's wavy. Mm -hmm. I can see, whoa, it's, yeah, it's got a wave in it. It's a wave, you can see the wave in the cover. That means it's in perfect condition. Oh, yes. The, 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 the good old wave. It's the rare. This era. one I thought looked really good, though. This is uh, one of the earlier books we got in a uh, YouTube auction. Uh, one of the yeah, one of the first books we've ever bought in a YouTube auction. So that was cool. We've had it for a while. Thought it looked like a nice book. Like I said, like I wouldn't press one of these like a foil cover yet. I don't feel comfortable. I've heard you can cold press them. So it'll be interesting to see. I'd just be worried you're gonna you know, you get one little tick in it, it's permanent, whether it's you know color breaking or not. I'm gonna start chill pressing them. Chill prep, put it in a freezer. And then sit on it. Cold Dude. pressing, if you guys didn't know, is where you just do weight on it, but no heat. And you're just letting the weight. And usually if you do that, it needs to be pressed for at least like 10 to 12 hours, usually overnight if you're going to cold press. So um, last book of the day, guys. Last book of the CBCS reveal. Oh. It's Al Milgram Interiors. Is it? Yeah. Is it really? McFarlane wow. doesn't even touch it. That's uh, wow. that's cool though. I love Al Milgram. Nice guy. Makes me glad. All right, that last book, so guys. Nine. Can we get another nine Sound eight? Copy. I'm interested. To see Princess saved us to the end. So was it a nine eight? I don't know. Is it a nine yeah. eight? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. Cool. I used to have a nice. Topic All right. Signed copy of this. So not a total bust, guys. I sold it. That would have been a good one to have signed by Todd McFarlane. No, he didn't even work on the book. Oh yeah, that would be bad. You had one signed by Topic Farley? In my hey, creative days, bands. Yeah. So at least you know you can always do that. So lesson learned, guys. Um, I think there was definitely some ups and downs, but um, in my opinion, if you get a lot of newer books slab without pressing them, you run the risk of getting nine sixes on modern books, which is what happened to us. And uh, from this point going forward, as you guys have seen, we're pressing our own stuff now, sending it to CGC, getting that three week to month return, which is fantastic. I would use CBCS in the future for signature series books only. I mean, if this is what they're gonna do, you know, like take a year to get back books that all they need to do is grade and encapsulate, it's kind of crazy. Hopefully they fix some stuff over there. Um, they're definitely the second best grading company. So I don't, you know, they do, I like their slabs. They're super mm -hmm. hardy, they're super hardy. And if you guys like seeing these unboxings as much as we like doing them, all you gotta do is hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, Hit the notification bell so you always know when new things are going down. Leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think about these grades, the books we got slabbed, um, whether you're happy, whether you're mad, whether you're excited. And Zach, take us home. Yeah, you gotta share how you do that. So you gotta go to airports, but you're not taking that many flights. You just bring an empty luggage, throw on the conveyor belt, and just walk around. Hey, have you met me before? Maybe get some numbers, hang out. You know, they're in the hotel, or they're not the hotel, but they're airplane, you know, they're going to be going airplane this way, that way. You see them for one day, no big deal. And uh, someone asks you some questions about it, tell them you're an international businessman <laughs> on international business. And just leave it vague. They can't get you for that. That's how you get those gains. Those airport lady gains. International businessman. Uh, be a legend. Wait for it. Dairy. All right, guys, until we see you next time, stay safe and remember, get those legendary gains. Get Every single one.